Hi everyone, this is Tom Passero, and I wanted to go over the Business 211 Contemporary Customer Service Building a Customer Service Strategy Rubric Question Set 3. Now this is the one where I have explained earlier <clears throat> in announcements that you need to find someone that works for the organization that you chose during the first week of class and interview them. Again, if you've chosen someone with whom you work, make sure they're a person that has some responsibility for customer service, providing customer service, whether it's an external or internal customer. And as I indicated, you can use whatever method works the best for both parties, face-to-face, -face, telephone, or email. You need to provide the name and the title of the person with whom you corresponded, and this has to be done by the end of week eight of the semester. Probably more important than anything is for you to make sure this person has been given a lot of time. In other words, you need to communicate with this person as early as possible and make it extremely convenient for them. They are doing you a service and of course we all know from customer service, customers number one, basically they are your customer. So please be very considerate of their time and make sure they get appreciated, which I know you'll do. Okay, well, that really kind of takes care of the first page of this. As we go to the second, the questions, the first question is, list two routine calls the organization receives and must handle in order to provide customer service excellence. Please provide a brief description of each call. All right, so your interviewer or interviewee will address that. And then secondly, for each call, briefly describe the method for handling each one. In other words, are checklists or guidelines used? Do the methods include elevating the issue to supervisors or managers and so on? Important, please number each type of call and its method for handling. All right. So basically what you're going to do is find out the kind of calls they receive. And it could be not just calls. It could be emails. It could be some sort of other correspondence. And... Uh, the, the person will give you a, hopefully a description and then what is the method for handling the calls? Is there a script or is it just basically ad hoc and take care of the information? Okay, question two. List and briefly describe two techniques used to gather customer feedback on service performance. And then part two of that question Describe two findings from the feedback that led to an improvement or potential improvement to the organization's customer service performance. And once again, please number each feedback technique and finding that led to customer service improvement. In this particular case, it could be whatever the interviewee tells you. It could be a note. It could be a call. It could be a letter. It could be some sort of a paper that's left on the table at a restaurant and it's filled out and what kind of findings two things that improved or perhaps nothing has improved yet but could improve and your interviewee will let you know that okay but make sure you press them on getting the number of techniques and the number of findings Question three, list and briefly describe two methods that the organization uses to motivate and reward employees for exhibiting customer service excellence. And part two of that question is list and explain two pros and two cons of any organizational reward system for exhibiting customer service excellence. Please number each method and the pros and cons of such method. Again, this has to do with how do you keep your employees sharp and motivated 
and excited for what they do. So whatever the method is, your interview E will describe that to you. Again, press them on the number, whether it's just a nice talking to, whether it's a free lunch, whether it's uh, points, they'll let you know. And then dig deep and find out what are the advantages and disadvantages or the pros and the cons to of each that these kind of reward systems uh, could exhibit. Okay. And then the last part of this rubric is not a question, but it's your reflection. So what I'd like you to do is sum up your interview experience by reflecting on the following. Do you think the above techniques described by your interviewee could be implemented by any other organization? Why or not? Please defend your opinion in five to six sentences. So I want at least five sentences for full credit, which is going to be a reflection on if you think this could be done at other companies, or other organizations. Why or why not? Okay. That's it. Again, make sure you find a time that is very convenient for your interviewee. Use whatever method it would best for them and yourself, but mostly them because they're the ones giving you the service. Again, they are your customer. And then I'm looking forward to, to reading it. This is due by week end of week eight of the semester. If you have any questions, as always, send me an email. It's the best way to get a hold of me. Good luck.